So Tater is currently wearing a little fleecy infinity scarf from the Northwest Dog, which is a local small brand. Um, um, they do pack hikes and we've gone on a couple with them so far. I don't remember the name of this design right now off the top of my head, but I'll put in a little info box with the name. Um, I'll have it pop up so you know. Also from Northwest Dog, this is just a normal bandana, it ties on. Um, this is the campfire design, I know that. And so yeah, this is also from the like fall flannel collection. Um, so both of Tater's Northwest Dog pieces um, that he has so far are new. Also check out our really sad fiddle leaf in the back. Um, so yeah, we literally just got these yesterday and he wore one of them on a hike today and then we have um one other bandana pre-ordered from them that we haven't gotten yet this is a bandana from native instincts oh gosh i want to say it's the theo i will put a little box to clarify that i should have written the names of these things down for this video and this is our first and only bandana um, from Native Instinct. I also have a matching scarf because we're extra like that. Okay, I wanted to show this bandana off not on Tater just to show how it attaches because it's a little bit different and you know, so interesting. Um, so it has these like D-rings on each side and then it comes with a carabiner. Um, so you clip it closed like that, which I like that. I like bandanas where they snap or um, it feeds through Tater's collar, or Tater's collar feeds through it. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about them coming off when he's out and about. Um, so I do like this. It's a little bit heavier than some other ways to like just the little snappy buttons. And then their little carabiner is branded, with the name of the store. Um, and it does have little, oops, focus. <laughs> As you can see, it does have little snaps that close around where the ring is, um, so it is adjustable. We have it on the larger thing though, because it is like just right for Tater with all of his floof. Cause you got a thick neck, bruh. Um, and I think you can also like let the store owner know if they're like your dog's like in between neck sizes, and she'll make it to fit your dog. Um, and then it's got this little leathery. Piece. But yeah, I wanted to show it off lying flat because I tried to film it on Tater's neck to show this off and it wasn't working very well. This is one of Tater's Royal Collections Co. bandanas. It is reversible, so I'll make sure to show off both sides, but this is a Halloween one. I don't know if they, I don't think they do this design anymore though. Um, but you can get the vinyl add-on and this one says, I'm here for the booze. And it's got little candy corns. Oops. Tater. And then on the reverse side, I'm just going to show the reverse like this. Um, then, whoop, okay. It's little ghosts and pumpkins. Alright, and our Royal Collections coat, we have two bandanas. No, we have three. We, but we have two fall ones from there um, that I got for him last year both this one with the i'm here for the booze and the pumpkin ghosts and then our pumpkin name one that i'll show this is our thanksgiving -y royal collections co bandana again also from last year's fall collection so on the one side it's the plaid um and then he's got a gold glitter vinyl add-on that's his name in a pumpkin and then on the opposite side okay on the opposite side of his thanksgiving bandana we have this design with pies and apples and pumpkins okay so this is tater's really only fall bow tie and as you can see it's little corgis and halloween costumes there's a mummy there's a pumpkin, there's like a witch, and then just like some fall decor items on it. Um, this is from 
Beefcake Boutique on Etsy, which isn't open anymore. We were a model for them and um, their owner was dealing with some health stuff and closed up the store and hasn't come back, but that's where this is from. And I think you can find similar patterns elsewhere too, because um, it's just kind of like that courtyard that's on spoon flower. Okay, so for the rest of this, I'm just gonna do some voiceover. Um, I filmed them outside and our neighbor was like behind our apartment on their balcony because our apartment backs up to some houses and I thought he'd think I was a weirdo if I was just out there filming my dog in various clothing items and describing them. Um, so we're going to do our voiceover now. Alright, so first of our outdoor clothing items here, um, we have Tater in his little raincoat. This is just one of those like RC Pets ones that comes in the little pouch thing, um, and it's got little, ra or not rainbows, um, little umbrellas all over it. We got this one in Canada for him. I've only seen this one where we got it at that store, so that's why I got it then, because I hadn't seen the umbrella print before and I thought that the umbrellas were really cute. Okay. Um, for our next one, this is a little parka that I got off of Chewy. I don't remember what the brand was, um, but you can probably find it pretty easily off of Chewy if you're going through. And it's kind of like a down jacket. It's got a hood, although his head is too big for the hood. Um, plus, he doesn't really like hoods to begin with. And yeah, so it's, it's kind of like Sherpa lining on the inside, and it's got the furry lined hood, um, and then it just velcros shut. Okay, now we've got a scarf. This is a infinity style scarf, and this is from um, Casper's Southern Wear, I believe. Um, I also have a matching human scarf to go with it, and it's just a nice, like, flannelly yellow, blue, red plaid. Um, it's a little big on him. This was the right size for him on the sizing chart, but as you can see, there is a little bit of room um, in his neck, but he doesn't line it in that way. I know it's not like too tight on him or anything. Okay, now this sweater, this is from Target. Um, I got this last Christmas. It was one of the Christmas sweaters. And it's just like a red and white heathered kind of knit um, with like, I don't, I don't even know what what you call that neckline. Um, but yeah, so his chest floof looks a little crazy in it. Um, and this is like his go-to just casual sweater too. It is technically from the Christmas section, but I feel like it's a good like neutral sweater. Like you don't know it's a Christmas sweater just from looking at it. Like doesn't have like Santa or reindeer on it or anything. Um, so sometimes he'll just wear this in the fall when he's cold. So it's not just a Christmas sweater. Okay, this is his um, waterproof, water resistant cozy from um, Threads and Tails. So this was custom made for him. Um, Threads and Tails has you send in the measurements and then she makes the coats to measurement, um, which I really liked because for Corgi, sometimes it's hard to find clothes that fit his body just because he is proportioned a little bit differently. Um, so this was designed just for him and it has this little snood thing with a little tie, a um, little scrunchy tie thing. So you can either have it up and I can like scrunch it up so it makes a little hood and covers up his head and his ears, keep him dry, or you can cuff it and roll it down. Um, he prefers it down. He does not like having <laughs> the snood on and pretend, he pretends he doesn't know how to walk when I have it on um I like it because it keeps his head warm but the trade-off is the fact that he thinks he can't walk so sometimes he has to get a wet head in exchange for getting him to actually move his little butt so okay, these are his little booties these are these are another new one um last winter I got him little like sticky sock kind of things um, and he, his feet get sensitive in the cold and I had noticed that he was kind of like starting to limp a little bit when it got really cold because I think that his feet were just getting too cold on the pavement. So I got him the little socks but they didn't stay on very well. Um, so I went and got him these booties instead and so far they stay on way better. They have the double uh, velcro as you can see so I can tighten them. Um, so I'm going to have our video here of him walking just to show that he can walk in them and he's been um, learning how to walk like a normal dog and not lift his feet up so much.